Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, let us learn about lists in HTML. If you have ever gone to a grocery store to buy fruits and vegetables, you might have faced a need to have a grocery list that looks something like this that you use to keep track of all the items that you want to buy. So like this. Similarly, lists in HTML is something using which you can group a set of related items together in a container. So basically for grouping related items now in html we basically have three types of list elements so let us discuss them one by one let us head over to our html folder and create a new file and name it as lists.html so let us first scaffold out the basic structure of html using emit so exclamation and tab and let us give the title lists in html so the type that we use most of the times is unordered list that is represented using the ul tag we use this element whenever we want to show a list of elements where the order doesn't matter order does not matter so the items of this category of lists are neither numbered nor they have labels that define an order they are just marked with bullets so something like this so a bullet and the item name, then a bullet, item name and so on. So a common application of this element is for implementation of navigation icons in a website. So let me demonstrate this. So let me head over to Instagram.com and here in the navigation bar, you can see a bunch of icons sitting next to each other. So most of the times these navigation icons are implemented using unordered lists, but we can use unordered lists for pretty much anywhere on the page where the order doesn't matter, right? So let us head over to Visual Studio Code and see UL tag in action. So right here, let us say UL and press tab. So this gives us the UL tag. And then to specify a list item, we have another tag and that is the LI tag. So let us say LI and within it, let us stuff some words, do this. Let us add a couple of more LIs to this unordered list. Do that do this and do that right now let us give this a preview in the browser to see what this looks like so here let us say lists.html and this is what we get so you can see by default these list items are displayed using bullet points but these bullet points can be transformed in any way we want or it can even be removed using css a thing that we will consider in a separate video now we can also nest lists to create a hierarchy so let me show this with the help of an example. Let us head back to Visual Studio Code. So let us create an unordered list with a bunch of list items. So you will. Now within this list, let us add a couple of list items. Li the nerdy dev. Li YouTube channel. Then let us add another Li and let us say playlists here. And inside this Li, let us nest another UL so within a list item we are basically nesting another list okay so my emit is not working so UL and here let us define our list items which will be playlists li javascript series python series and let us add one more machine learning series so now we are done with laying the structure of the list. Let us give this a preview. So this is how it looks. Now contrary to this, we have an ordered list where the order of items matter. So you can create one using the OL element. Let us head back to Visual Studio Code to see how we can create one. So right here, let us add the OL tag. Now inside this list, we are going to have three list items. But the difference here would be that in the case of an ordered list, the items will be ordered and will be labeled numerically so let's type ol so inside this let us add our list items li this is the first list item let us add a couple more this is the second list item li this is the third list item so let us give this a preview so you can see our list of items are getting rendered in the browser and it is marked by numbers by default starting from one and goes on till three for our three list items. 
So let us also see an ordered list which is labeled using characters and not numbers. So for this what we can do is let us copy this and paste it down below. And here let us say this is A, this is B and this is C and to have the characters instead of numbers we can say type and set this to capital A to get uppercase alphabet in place of numbers so here you can see it says A this is A this is B and this is C so here also we are ordering our items but in this case we are using characters instead of numbers right so now let us again copy this above ordered list and paste it down below and change it to lowercase characters so small a and with the type as small a here we say this is a this is p and this is c and now let us do the same thing for roman numerals as well for labeling the ordered list items using roman numbers so let me copy this paste it down below and change this to capital i so this is one in roman numerals two and three right so let us give this a preview in the browser and this is what we get next let us talk about the third type of lists which is description lists so we use description lists for implementing glossaries or displaying metadata let me show you this with the help of code so back in visual studio code we start with the dl element which is short for the description list now inside this list we can have a dt which is short for description term and for the description term, let us say this is a description item. After the description item, we can have a DD element which is short for description details to describe the term that we just defined. So for this, let us say this is description details like this. Let us add one more description term and description details element for it. So let me copy this. And paste it down below this is a description item 2 and this is description details 2 like this let us give this a preview in the browser so this is how it looks of course everything here can be styled just as we want so this was all I wanted to cover about lists in HTML if you like the video do give it a thumbs up or comment down below if you have any query don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such videos and I will see you guys in the very next one